Right, it's bread week this week and I'm quite excited because I'm going to make something I've never made before. I'm doing a chocolate twist loaf bread and um, I'm cooking alone at the moment. I'm going to do mine without Georgie in the kitchen and then Georgie's going to come home from her school and then she's going to do hers later on, which is quite good because then we're not going to get in each other's way. We're not going to want the utensils, we're not going to want the scales at the same time and she's not going to accuse me of stealing her ingredients because she'll not know what I've used basically. Um, just channeling, is it Candice? Is that what she's called from the Bake Off? With the lipstick, a little bit bright for me, but I'm going to an 80s themed event on Saturday night and I thought I'd just try this bad boy out. What do we think? Nah, it's not good is it? But anyway, just bear with. Hope it's not too bright for you guys. Right, I'm about to get my ingredients together. There's quite a few. Um, I'm following an American recipe this time, which means it's all done in cups and ounces and things like that so hopefully i don't get too confused and that my uh, cup sizes ho -ho, are the correct ones here's the cups i use anyway this is a 240 mil measurement so and it says one cup so let's go with it anyway i'll get cracking on getting my ingredients together and i'll show you them once i've got them all out okay bear with I also want to point out today is like one of the hottest days of the year so far given that we're like two and a half weeks away from October it is boiling so hence the bit of a skimpy top going on here so yeah warm and it's gonna get hotter okay, okay now I've got actual strong white bread flour for the job I thought the job's worth doing is worth doing properly so a full bag of this and I want two and a half cups whoa gone everywhere doesn't it always uh, yeah one and a half cups of flour and I'm gonna put that in my bowl so I say one and a half cups I meant two and a half cups just to clarify I can't remember what I said Ugh, how's that mouth? okay so in we go with a sachet of yeast which I'm assuming is the correct amount we'll just bung it in most recipes take is it these seven gram sachets of yeast so that's gone in and I also want a quarter to half a teaspoon a half a teaspoon when I find it what the heck's that gone? oh here we go oh, half a teaspoon of salt always put salt into these things it is half a teaspoon that goes in Paul Hollywood says you're not supposed to mix your salt and your yeast together but this recipe says none of that so we'll just do that and we will also want a quarter of a cup of sugar, which this is a quarter cup size. So obviously this is a sweet bread, so in it goes. Okay, in a separate pan, I need a quarter of a cup of milk, which I'll put into there. I've got the cutest little pan ever. It's so sweet. And I need a quarter of a cup of butter. Now I'm not getting butter out of the fridge. It's like a house brick, it's really hard. So I've got this perfectly cakes and bakes thing. So I'm just gonna, and it's pretty, Okay, so my little pan is now on the hob. If you could see it, that is over there where my main, my neck. Oh, that's difficult to do. Where my finger is. Okay, coolio. So this is melting very gently. We've only got it on a very small heat because. This mix, once it's melted, is going to go into the flour, the yeast, the salt and the sugar um, mixture. So if we get things too hot, then it's just going to kill the yeast and we're not going to get any, any rise when we try to prove it or bake it in the oven. Okay. So this 80s do, I'm going to need some seriously big hair. I need to really like, lift it right up. I need to get it like curly. I chucked out some crimping irons like, six months ago thinking I'm never going to use those and now I'm like needing them. Typical. Anyway, big hair. Still waiting for the butter to melt into the milk. I've probably got a little bit too low but I'm airing on the side of caution here. Don't want it too hot otherwise I've then got to wait ages for it to cool off. Um, it's quite weird not cooking with Georgie in the kitchen at the same time because normally we're like spar off each other a bit and now I'm like just talking nonsense all to myself and it feels a little bit weird. So, yeah. And the pot is once again for the washing machine. It's always on in this house. Okay, so I'm about to add my milk and my butter mix to um, the dry ingredients. I need to add a teaspoon of vanilla paste. I mean, it does say vanilla extract or, you know, 
vanilla essence but I really really like this paste it's quite economical this little jar cost me four pounds and I think it's the equivalent one teaspoon is the equivalent of one vanilla pod so that given the price of vanilla pod is really good value because how many teaspoons are in there I'd say there's at least 15 to 20 teaspoons in there so and it tastes really really nice okay I'm going to go in with my butter and my milk into the dry flour ingredients then it goes and we're also adding which is quite unusual in my opinion for a bread be it uh, um, a sweet or a savory one I'm actually adding three full eggs in there too so and I'm gonna go in with this thing I'm not gonna go in my hands yet because it'll get really claggy I'm just gonna go in can you see what I'm doing oh no you can't see because I put my hand over it here we go oh that's my chest can you see that can you see that yeah it's really wet and sticky at the moment so we're just gonna work it oh, sorry I just keep sticking my hand in the middle of the thing I'm just not as good at this as Georgie clearly so around we go okay she's gonna edit all this out anyway who can blame her now then this is at the stage where I'm gonna go in with my hands it's practically come together it's going to be a bit sticky so I've got my flour shaker over there to add little bits more flour as I need to go along um, I won't film while I'm I'm sort of doing that because I'm going to be clacked up with dough um, the dough actually smells really nice I can smell the vanilla I can smell the butter and uh, I think there's a bit of sugar in it but it smells really really nice and I haven't done anything with it yet it's good I have a good feeling about this Okay, dough's been brought together. It's time to knead it like this, or something like this, for the best part of six to eight minutes, I think. So, yeah. But it's too hot. It's too hot for this kind of caper. Ooh. Right then, my loyal fans. Um, I have now kneaded the bread till I got bored, basically, which actually wasn't very long. So yeah, I probably needed this for five minutes. I don't think it needs any more. It feels a good texture. So what I'm going to do is today I'm going to pop it outdoors. I'm not going to put it in direct sunlight because I think it actually cooked because it's like nearly 30 degrees out there. I'm going to put it outside. It's, it's really warm. I'm going to pop it in the shade. And hopefully next time you see this beautiful specimen, it will be about three times the size. So come on. So, whilst I'm waiting for my dough to rise outdoors, I'm going to leave it out there for about 45 minutes. I'm going to get on with making the chocolate filling for this um, this bread twist. And I need four ounces of chocolate, which basically is a 100 gram bar of chocolate, which I purchased from little. That's only about 40 something piece, that's a bargain. And we want four tablespoons of butter, and we want a quarter of a cup of icing sugar, and one tablespoon of cocoa. So I'm going to get all that together, melt it in the microwave gradually, stirring constantly, and uh, and then set it to one side until it's kneaded. Okay. I can't tell you how good this smells. It's only when I'm filming and I watch myself back that I see how old my neck's starting to get and the fact I cannot get rid of this double chin. It's so annoying. It's so aging. And that's the chocolate filling for the bread prepared. That looks absolutely yummer, yummer, yummer. Now, I brought the dough in. I think it's double, but it certainly hasn't trebled. So I'm going to blame the eggs on that because normally you don't have eggs in a, in a dough mix, in a bread mix. So anyway, but at least it's risen a bit, so that's good. Okay, so spread your chocolate mix onto your rolled out um, bread dough. Um, and, um, and then I'm going to roll it. Let me show you. Hang on. I'll stop and I'll show you. I mean yummy. At the moment, if I just put that in the in the oven like that, it'd be like the best like chocolate pizza ever. But now I'm going to roll it up. I'm going to do what the recipe says. I'm going to roll it up. So yeah, here we go. So dough and chocolate mix now wrapped up. I get the feeling I'm now going to make the biggest mess on the planet. What I'm going to do is the recipe says cut that lengthways and have the cut side up on both of them. And what you do is you sort of squish them together one end and then the two bits you just wrap 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 around in a big twist but that chocolate sauce is really really drippy so it's gonna go everywhere anyway we'll see won't we 
Oh my god, I'm not kidding. That was messy. Look, whoa, look at my work top. Look at my hands. Oh my god. I mean, oh. And then, oh, can you see? Can you see in there? Not very well, I know. I'll show you probably better in a minute, but I just can't do anything with these hands. I'm so filthy. There, that's the better view. Uh, yeah, it, it is literally like an explosion in a chocolate factory. It's hemorrhaging chocolate. Now, I'm supposed to brush um, beat an egg with a little tablespoon of water as a glaze. I don't actually think there's any point, so I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to give it, let it rest for another uh, 20 minutes. Hopefully it'll start to rise again under the weight of all that chocolate. And then I'll whap it in the oven for about 40 to 50 minutes, I think it says. It might look a mess, but it's going to taste brilliant. I know it is. I mean, you've got chocolate on my arm. I mean, how's it got there? It's got a bit on my lip. I've, um... I swear to God, I've not licked that work top. That is actually a spatula. I've licked the spatula. <laughs> Brilliant. I'm supposed to be on a diet, but yeah, whatever. Ah, oh, you shouldn't be looking at me. Oh, I've got spots. Oh. That's risen slightly. It's going in the oven. So we'll see it when it comes out. I'm so pleased. This bread has risen up loads. It actually caught on the top of the oven when I tried to take it out. I am trying to ignore the fact that it looks like I've been following behind a horse with a shovel and then just put uh, the resulting load into my loaf tin. It smells amazing in this kitchen. So I'm really pleased with this. I'm gonna cut it up. Georgie wants a bit now, but she's gonna have to wait. So yeah, see what it tastes like. See what the judges think. So does anybody else think that this is like an angry bulldog? 